Hey guys, so I am back again this week. Um, sorry I didn't upload the last week. I uh, didn't have anything to talk about. Anyway, so I am here today and I am going to talk about one of my favorite TV shows, Doctor Who. Now, if you are a Whovian, welcome. <laughs> you are my best friend. Anyway, if you're not a Whovian, as in you're not a fan of Doctor Who or you don't know what Doctor Who is, check it out. Please check it out. It's one of my favorite shows. It's uh, kind of like a science fiction, like uh, aliens trying to take over the world, but um, not only that, but the doctor is the main character and he regenerates. And anyway, I'm really bad at explaining things, so go check it out, uh, Google it, and it's not on Netflix anymore because they unfortunately took it off this past year. Um, uh, they took it off of Netflix all of the seasons, but if you have Amazon Prime, all of the videos on Amazon Prime are free, so go watch it. Um, there are other places online that you can watch it, but I'm not really sure what those are. Um, it's a BBC channel. It's a BBC channel. It's a BBC show. It's a British show, um, but it is amazing and you will love it, I promise. Anyway, so what I'm here to talk about today is the recent news that Peter Capaldi is going to be leaving after this 10th season. So that means that we lose Stephen Moffat and Peter Capaldi. Um, I'm really upset that Stephen Moffat is leaving because he's done such a great thing with the show. I mean, every show that he writes on, the fans are going to have certain things that they don't like. <laughs> I mean, we, we mess around all the time going like, Moffat, why? Like when he kills off a character or something like that. But in all reality, he is a great writer and director. Um, and you know, it's, I'm just sad that he's leaving the show, but that leaves open a window for someone just as great um, to come in and take the show a different way. And uh, that's going to be exciting. I'm waiting to see what happens with that. Um, now with Peter Capaldi, he's not my favorite doctor, but he's also not terrible. Um, it took me a long time to warm up to him. Um, to be honest, when he popped up on the screen after Matt Smith's final season, I kind of screamed. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but when he popped up, all you see are his eyebrows. <laughs> and if you know who Peter Capaldi is, you know that he has the craziest eyebrows. They're, like, he looks like an owl. And that's just how it is. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not trying to bash... Uh, Peter Capaldi, he, he's a great guy, um, and well, you know, I guess he is. I have never met him, even though I would love to. Um, anyway, like, he seems like a great guy and everything, but he's just not my favorite doctor, you know? Uh, David Tennant is my favorite doctor. David Tennant is the best. Um, I love him. Anyway, so after season 10, Peter Capaldi is leaving. Um, so that leaves open a new window for... A potential new doctor and that's so exciting no one will ever be as good as David Tennant or even Matt Smith Matt Smith is my close second but you know I hope that they choose someone good now there's a lot of talk about if they're going to choose a woman doctor for this or not um, and you know I think that'd be cool especially with the whole uh, the master turning into a woman this regeneration I think it'd be cool to get that woman against woman uh, relationship but at the same time I just don't see a woman in that role now that's nothing against women like honestly uh, that's it, this is kind of hard to explain because there are just certain roles that you don't see a woman playing you know, and to me, the doctor is one of those roles. Now, saying that, if they do decide to go the route of having a woman play the doctor, there are only a handful of people I would ever want to see play that role. You have to be perfect. Like, especially if you're going to take that different of a turn with it. If you're going to turn the doctor into a woman, you have to get the perfect person. And I've had this conversation with a couple of people. So, for me... 
Helena Bonham Carter would be one of the absolutely best people that they could do to choose to do the doctor. Um, she's just, she's amazing. She can play any role. Um, she, she just, she's such a great actress. Um, and for those of you who don't know that, who that is, if you have ever watched Harry Potter, she was Bellatrix the Lestrange. And um, she's been in pretty much any Tim Burton movie um, because <laughs> that's her partner. Not her husband, but her partner. They're not married, um, but they do have kids together. Um, uh, there was another woman that I said would be a, a decent doctor, but I can't remember who that was now. Um, honestly, can't remember. Anyway, so on the flip side of that, if they keep with a male role, then, I mean, it still has to be the, the not necessarily the perfect person, but you can't just choose anybody and throw them in that role. Now, first of all, they've talked about having David Tennant or Matt Smith come back and be the doctor. And now, on one hand, I feel like that would be great if David Tennant popped back up on my screen to be the doctor again. I would cry with joy. But at the same time, you know, they... They... Just, let, let me see. Okay. I think... Was it... I think it was David that was talking about, you know, I had my turn, it's time for someone else now. Um, and I think I think that sums it up pretty nicely. They, they get this chance, and it's an amazing chance, and I'm so glad that they had that chance. But now they need to let someone else have this role. And saying that, I think that when they choose somebody, they should choose someone who's not in mainstream media, like, constantly right now. Um, now, in a few years, somebody that's in mainstream media now may not be in mainstream media then. So then it would be okay. But if they chose somebody from mainstream media now, then their fans would have a hard time seeing them in that role. It would be just so much harder to accept. So people like, honestly, I would love somebody like Benedict Cumberbatch or Tom Hiddleston or Eddie Redmayne to be the doctor. Those three people are some of the best candidates out there. But at the same time, they're all three in mainstream media right now. With Eddie Redmayne, it's the, the Fantastical Beasts and Where to Find Them, which I have not seen yet, but I'm going to eventually. Um, with Benedict Cumberbatch, you know, he's the dragon in the Hobbit, Smaug. He's, you know, Sherlock. He's done the imitation game. He's, you know, he's done these, the, all these different roles right now, and I don't think he'd be a good choice for the doctor right now. Later on, maybe. I mean, I'd love to see him in that role. Um, also, Tom Hiddleston. Um, <laughs> he is one of the people that I would love to see the most as the doctor. I think he could pull it off so well. And Tom isn't in as much mainstream media as Benedict or Eddie. So, you know, I could, I could see them choosing him right now, but it's it's kind of an iffy subject there. You know, he's Loki in the, all the Avengers movies and Thor movies. Um, he's done a couple of other things lately, but I can't remember what they are other than the Taylor Swift scandal. Um, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, other people that I personally would like to see as candidates for the Doctor are uh, Dan Stevens. And even though he is kind of in mainstream media right now with Beauty and the Beast, most people... So, first of all, let me address a couple of things that you may notice are different. First of all, my light is different because um, my camera battery actually died while I was filming earlier so um the sun has gone down <laughs> so I'm just using the light on my phone at the moment so sorry about the crappy uh, lighting quality um I tried to do these videos while there's still light outside and that's why the first part of the video is you know better lighting quality is because the sun was out so but I had to wait for my battery to charge 
Anyway, as I was saying, um, I was talking about Dan Stevens and how I think he would be a good, <clears throat> excuse me, a good candidate for playing the Doctor in Doctor Who. Um, even though he's in mainstream media, he's not he's not a name that everybody knows. You know, he's doing Beauty and the Beast right now. Well, it's coming out soon. Um, he's in that. He plays the Beast. But he's not really a name that everybody knows. Um, so, and he's just got this quality as an actor about him that I think would be great as the doctor. Um, another person who um, my mom and I discussed for the role of the doctor would be Alan Leach. Uh, he was also on Downton Abbey. He played the Irish chauffeur who fell in love with one of the Crawley sisters. If you haven't seen Downton Abbey, I'm so sorry that I just told you that, but it happens like in the first season, so it's not like it happens later on. Um, anyway, he would be good for the part, I think. One, because they have, a, he's an Irishman? Uh, anyway, I mean, mm -hmm. he would be good for the part because one, He's an Irishman. I mean, everybody loves Irishmen. And, um, you know, we've had Englishmen, we have Scottishmen. I don't think we've had any Irishmen play the Doctor yet. And I think that it could be a great aspect to it. Um, so, I think there, there's, along with Dan Stevens, he has a lot of qualities that I think he could bring a new dimension to the Doctor. Uh, so, I think it'd be interesting to see um, Adam Leach in that role. Um, we also talked about, I've seen several different posts about who could potentially, potentially be, uh, cast as the Doctor, and some of them had said people like Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grant and, uh, you know, people like that. First of all, Daniel Radcliffe. I could see him as being the Doctor's companion, but I don't think I could ever see him as being the Doctor. And not just because he played Harry Potter, but just, I don't think he could portray the Doctor the way he needs to be portrayed. So, you know, I could, I could, I would be all on board for him being a companion to the Doctor. Don't get me wrong, he's a great actor, but I don't think he'd be right for the role. Um, Rupert Grint. I don't know how he would do in that kind of role. I've never seen him in that kind of role. So I think it'd be interesting to see him do it. Um, but I don't know, once again, if he has what it, he needs to portray the Doctor the way he needs to be. Um, the only thing that I would love to see Rupert Grant as the Doctor is because he would finally be a ginger. You, um, anybody who watches Doctor Who and is a fan of the show knows that the Doctor wants to be Ginger. Um, I made a post about this a couple of weeks ago where I was joking about it. And I was like, hmm, hands, arms, legs, head, <gasps> hair, oh, I'm a Ginger! And, um, because, you know, when Matt Smith, and when, uh, he, when the Doctor regenerated into Matt Smith's, uh, Doctor, the 11th Doctor, he, you know, was feeling his arms and legs, and he felt his hair, and he's like, oh, I'm a girl. No, I'm, a, I'm not a girl. And then he pulls it out, and he's like, still not ginger. Um, so I think it would be cool to see the doctor finally get to be a ginger after so long. Um, there are other people that have been said to be in consideration for the doctor. I've seen one post say that... Um, Gerard Butler is kind of in consideration and honestly I would love to see Gerard Butler do this because I Gerard Butler is one of my all-time favorite actors I love him um, I've seen the guy from the IT crowd I cannot remember his name but he plays Moss um, poofy hair glasses kind of odd voice uh, I don't think he would be good as the doctor that's my personal opinion. I don't think he should play the Doctor. I'd be all on board once again for him being a companion, but that's about it as far as that would go. Um, and there are other people who have been said to be in consideration for the Doctor, and most of them just don't really have the look 
of the Doctor, and I know that kind of sounds weird, but you know when you are a fan of the show for so long, or you have been waiting for something to come out, you have this certain look that you kind of associate with a certain character or a certain show, and these people that they put into consideration for the show, I don't think that they kind of fall in line with what the Doctor should be. Um, and I'm not like everyone else, well not like everyone else, but like, I'm not as opposed to the Doctor being older as I am a lot of people, because if you go back to original Who, then they are all, not all, but the majority of the original Who are in their later years. And especially the first Doctor. Look at him, he was in his older years when they started the show. and. Most of the doctors that followed after him were in their older years. So I'm not opposed to the doctor being older. I'm completely not against I don't care about his age. I care about what the actor can bring to portray the doctor and how he needs to be portrayed and uh, what they can add to the show. Um, so I can't think of who all else that they have kind of said were in consideration. Um, Oh, another person that I'm, I haven't seen him on, on any of the posts about being considered, but the guy, if you remember, if if you've been watching the show for a while or you've seen all the episodes, the Christmas episode, I can't remember what year it was, but the Christmas episode with David Tennant where he comes across the guy who thinks he's the doctor because he's had his memory wiped by a info stamp, that guy I think would be great because he's played that role in a certain aspect before and I think it'd be great to see him come back as the actual doctor kind of like how Peter Capaldi was in the fires of Pompeii episode um and then he came back as the doctor I think that would be so great to see um oh what was his name it was something like um anyway I think it'd be great to see him come back as the actual doctor this time. Um, that's my just per just my personal opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but I would love to see that. Um, anyway, I can't think of who else they have said is in the consideration for the role of the doctor. But if you guys hear anything, um, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and tell me who you think would be great as the doctor. There's so many great actors out there, and you know. Excuse me. There's so many great actors out there and so many people who can bring different portrayals of the Doctor to the show and different things like that. And it also just kind of depends on how the writers want to go, what direction the writers want to go with the show as to who they cast, um, as to who can bring what they need to life on the screen. So I think that takes a lot into consideration about it. So anyway, I... Like, I kind of hate to see Capaldi leave because I just got used to him. I just got to liking him. But at the same time, you know, if he feels like it's his time to, you know, leave the show, if he, if he feels he's contributed what he can, then all, by all means, you know, let the next person step up and bring their aspect to the show and, um, you know, change it however it needs to be changed. I'm excited to see how season 10 and the coming seasons will uh, go since... All of the ordeals that the doctor has been through in season nine. I won't give any spoilers because I know I know personally a lot of people who have not seen season nine yet. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let me know down below what you think of this video, who you think would be good as a doctor, or even who you think who would you would like to see as companions. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of arguments about who people like as companions and who they don't like. I'm excited to see how Pearly Mac is... Mackie? Pearly, Pearl Mackie? Something like that. The new companion. I'm excited to see what she's going to bring to the show and how she's going to help the Doctor. Um, ooh, another thing before I go that my friends and I have discussed about Doctor Who is seeing the Doctor, if he's a male, if, if they bring the Doctor back as a male, I would like to see the Doctor have a male companion, not like or romantically like almost all of the other companions have been. I would like to see the Doctor just have a best friend. Um, I know Amy was his best friend, but at the same time she's kind of in love with him. So I would like to see the Doctor have a best friend like Rory. Rory and the Doctor, that was great. 
Um, I would like to see him have a best friend, and I'd like to see them portray that with a male companion. Or if they have a female doctor, then have a, another female companion um, come on as the best friend. Uh, you know, I like, don't get me wrong, Rose and the doctor are my, like, OTP. I love Rose and I love their connection. But after that, I, I don't want to see the romantic aspect there. You know, I just want to see them be best friends, be, you know, have each other's backs. And I think it'd be interesting to see them do that. So, anyway, like I said, let me know what you know, think in the comments down below, who, would you, who you would like to see as the doctor, who you would like to see as companions, what direction you think they're going to go with the show, and anything else about Doctor Who in the comments down below. Also, if you have a topic or anything that you would like me to talk about or any kind of video you'd like to see, let me know. So I will see you guys later. Bye.